Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing some action screw torque group testing. Uh, we're going to be using the, what I like to call the squirrel rifle. This has the Magpul stock, Green Mountain 19 inch heavy tapered barrel. Uh, it's very accurate. It has the stock Ruger bolt and receiver I'm using a BX25 trigger and this trigger is kind of nice because it pulls at right around two pounds. Usually these are about two and a half. This is fairly light for this particular trigger. I'm using the Tractoric Scope. Love this thing. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, the only problem that I see with this particular scope is it's non-illuminated. This is the two and a half to 15 with the MRAD uh, reticle in it. I'm, I switched over to the AccuTac bipod for this group testing. I did this uh, test yesterday. I was having a little bit of trouble holding steady on target. And I can tell you, just from doing the preliminary setup on the rifle, I am able to hold it a lot more steady with this bipod for some reason. The Harris, I tend to want to overload overload it, and you can't overload that bipod on these 1022s. For some reason, it messes with the natural cycling of the rifle, and it kind of screws up your groups. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get to shooting. So we're going to start off at 10 inch-pounds, go to 15, 20, 25, 30, and then 35 inch pounds. I'm only going to shoot two groups. I don't want to waste a lot of ammunition on this test. I kind of already know where it shoots good. I just kind of want to demonstrate what each different level does to the groups. And I think you might be surprised. So uh, let's get started. We're shooting Ely semi auto bench rest. Seems to be a pretty accurate uh, ammunition in this rifle. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to start off at 10 inch pounds, top left. I'm going to shoot the first two groups. And then uh, the last two groups on the top will be 15 and so on and so forth. So here we go. So in my testing, 10 inch pounds is not enough to seat the uh, action into the stock properly. But we're going to start off at 10 so I can show you what happens. So uh, here we go. Gonna make a liar out of me. Oh, there's always one. Okay, 15 inch pounds. Okay, 20 inch pounds. Second row on the left. We're shooting at 50 yards, by the way. All right, second group. <clears throat> Alright, now 25 inch pounds. Pulled that one.
little vertical stringing on that one. Hmm. All right, well, let's measure them up and see, uh, see what we came up with. Okay, so did the action torque make that big of a difference? Yeah, it did. When we started off at 10, did not feel tight enough, that produced a 0.39. 15 even didn't feel quite tight enough, that produced a 0.29. So realistically, the 0.29 was the best grouping uh, measurement-wise that we had. 20 came out with a 0.33. That's when it felt like it was adequately tight enough. 25 came out with a 0.32. 30 came out at a 0.36 and 35 came out at a 0.425. So we really started losing accuracy at 30 and then 35 it really started to fall apart. So I would say somewhere between 15 and 25 I'm probably just going to split the difference and uh, put it at 20. I may have thrown that last round out to make that group you know, I think it came out came out to a .46. Should have been better than that had I not thrown that one round out. I, I'm not going to be that picky, I suppose. I think I'm just going to set it either at 20 or 25. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. If you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys.